And this blender's kicked in and now it's blending. It's making nitrogen soup. Exactly how they're going to turn that into uh, fused modular frames, I don't know, but it'll happen. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to set up our nitrogen uh, mining facility up on the mountain there, along with a facility that's going to make us um, the fused frames, specifically the fused modular frames. So that is the plan. If you uh, didn't catch the last episode, we spent that episode setting up the drone ports on this end. So we have two drone ports here uh, with two, dro uh, two drones ready to start transporting parts up to the new factory. And then the product from that factory, the fuse frames back down here. Uh, so if you haven't caught that episode and you're interested, uh, make sure you watch that before you watch this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the ma'am. I think this is our last hard drive that we currently have. And then we'll have to go out and get some more. So we've got alternate iron wire. Basically just uses iron to make wire instead of copper. And we get 22 and a half per minute instead of 30, which I believe is the default recipe. So that doesn't suck if you're in a situation where you had a bunch of iron and not as much copper. This one allows us to make resin, polymer resin, from oil and heavy oil residue. I just, I can't think of why I would ever want to do that because these two things are byproducts of this anyway. So why would you use this to make, to, to make its byproduct when you can already do it by making other things? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, there's, there's usually a, a time and place for almost all of these recipes. Um, but I don't think this is going to do us any good where we're currently at. This one gives us uh, alternate aluminum clad casing at 112 per minute. And it requires both aluminum and copper, whereas the normal recipe just requires aluminum. How much does the normal recipe give us? 60 per minute. So the advantage to this one, of course, is that you get almost twice the product, but you also have to have two inputs instead of one. So, eh. Not really all that attractive. So this would be the only one I would even really consider of these three. But even this one is not super attractive because I don't have a shortage of copper. So I think we're going to re-roll this one. Let's do it. Okay. Let's head on over here. Uh, the first step in this process is that we're going to need to get power up to the location that we're going to. Um, so we're basically going to go up. Let's see, where are we at here? Yeah, up on that plateau. Not this first one, but there's another one behind it that we're going to be uh, doing, you know, setting all this up on. And we'll run the power line starting with this these power towers right here. Okay, so if we grab that, oh uh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to grab it like this. There we go. And let's just walk it down here to see how far it goes. It's going to go almost all the way to our Caterium processing, Caterium ingot processing thingy. But we'll find its maximum limit, which is here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna bring this back a little bit to maybe about here-ish. Um, and let's just set this here momentarily. It's not necessarily gonna stay there. Because what I want to also do is I want to make sure that we're putting it 
on the global grid. Let's just go here. So if we put this, uh, these down here, um, and I think what I'll do is move this back even further because we're going to have to turn it around in order to get the right angle. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So let's redo this now, and we're, we're going to set it on this pad here. Okay. I think that's centered properly. Needs to come this way. Maybe, um, oh, I guess I can't do half nudges. All right. We'll just do it that way then. And that should be straight with the tower down there. All right, now what we want to do is we want to put the tower here, but we want to turn it this direction. And it looks like that's lined up. No, it needs to go this way. Does it? Okay, I think that's it. It doesn't look like it's let me line it up perfectly, so that's going to have to be close enough, I guess. Okay, we'll attach these two. All right, now we got to get up on the mountain. Um, so I think to accomplish that, we're probably going to need to put our jetpack on. Let's get up here and maybe even up here so we start from a place of height okay let's go spiders what the hell Show them what for. Okay, let's go up to here. Okay, our plateau is right across this little chasm here, but we need to get up higher uh, for the power lines. Let's see if we can just go straight up from here. And we can actually probably get across to there uh, just going over this little arch. Very good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our foundations out and we're going to put them on the global. Okay, now I don't suppose I can reach that from down here, can I? All right, so we're going to have to build a, a temporary ramp to make this work then. It might even be that we look directly west and then straight down along the seam. Yeah, I think this I think we place these correctly. So what we'll do is we'll get out 
some ramp foundations. And we just, whoops, I need to put that on zoop mode. We just need to get down far enough to be able to grab the power line. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Can we go one thingy that way? I guess it doesn't really matter. Because it's not going perfectly lined up. So we'll just do it there. Missed a couple. Perfect. Okay. Nothing's clipping. Well, at least until it gets up into the, the trees here. Um, why don't, uh, why don't we run the line over across the chasm and then I'll decide at that point if I'm going to be concerned about foliage being in the way or not. There's our nitrogen deposit right there. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll put the pad right here. That's not what I want. I need the big, the big pole. All right, so let's see. Are these trees over here actually in the lines? They are not. So we're okay on this side for the trees. What about over here? Kind of looks like these might be in the foliage. And again, you know, I know the game doesn't care, but in the real world, you couldn't have this kind of thing going on. So, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to cut these trees down here. Hate to do it, but sometimes you got to do it. Okay, that cleared the lines. I think we're good. All right, let's dismantle all of this. And here we go. So this is a nitrogen deposit and so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down the fracker okay and I'm not I'm not, not worried about putting those on foundations. Uh, this is all going to be covered up anyway. Now let's grab a power line and... Temper... Where's the thingy at? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's just temporarily put that there. I'll, I'll do the power more permanently once we get the, the structure in place. But this is a pure node. Um, and... 
this fracker here uh, can do eight, 840 um, meters squared per minute. But this is a gas. So one of the nice things about working with a gas instead of a liquid is we don't have to worry about head lift. Um, so we can run vertical pipes and we don't have to worry about putting pumps and that sort of thing on. All right, let's also run a couple more power lines just around the area so I can hover. And again, we'll change these up once we get the main structure in place. Okay. So this area has seven nodes in total. We have three over there and we have one, two, three, four over here. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to put down the well extractors and I'm going to have everything on the south side of the fracker pointing to the south. And everything on the north side of the fracker will point to... Oh, sorry. No, those are pointing to the north. These will point to the south. Excellent. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the... Where are we at here? Um, actually, yeah, let's put a, let's put a foundation down on the global. And then I'm going to zoop these guys up until they're above these hammer thingies. That should be good there. Then we'll put a foundation there. Let's get a power line up here. And then the next step is to build out um, a platform that will cover all of the little extractors there. So we're going to want to go, let's see. Oh, did I... I need to put one more extractor down, don't I? Yeah, right here. Um, that one... I think we'll... I think we'll face that one to the north, too. Okay. That should be about as far to the east as we will need to go. So let's just run this out to here. And I think that one right below us is the one that's the furthest out this direction. So we could probably actually start moving that way. Yeah, that should be good. All right, and then I think we're going to want to come out one more this way. And then start moving this direction. Oh, nope, we are going to need to go out further to cover that guy. But I'll tell you what, let's go to here. That should be far enough that direction. And then we might need to go like two more out this way. Yeah, I think that's about right. So that should be enough to give us our full outline here. 
Now we're just turning this platform into um, a rectangular pad here. Excellent. Oh, nope. Well, eh. yeah, that one's fine too. I think we'll be okay with that. Okay, let me just double check that everything looks right. That's not right. All right, we're going to need to get rid of these trees. And these trees. That tree's probably okay, but this one is not. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, now let's go back down. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a foundation down on the global grid in front of these guys. going to grab these and move that to about there. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and then bring that up to the ceiling. And we're going to grab a Mark one pipe and run it up. To there and then oh you know what I need to let's go here and go to logistics and I want to set the pipeline floor hole in uh, number four because we're gonna use that a lot okay and then we just put this in place over the pipe um actually yeah that needs to come back that way doesn't it hmm. oh you know why uh, because I didn't use I didn't use horizontal to vertical mode it should be right there okay so let's put that in place and we want this to be horizontal to vertical mode and then it should go in there nice and straight Very good. And then we have the pipe hole up here. Okay, so I'm going to basically do the same thing for the other six extractors. Um, get their pipes run up and floor holes in the floor. I'll do that uh, off camera and then I'll bring you guys back when it's done. All right, guys, we are back and uh, I got all the pipes set up. And I also put these uh, supports in place here and reconnected the power so that the power's coming down off the ceiling for the fracker. So let's go up to this level now. And this is actually going to be a logistics floor for the piping. Um, so I think what we're going to do here is... I've got to give this a little thought because when I did the testing on this before, things... No, things were about like this. Um, I'm just thinking I might want to change it up a little bit from what I had it before. But I don't think I will. I think we'll keep it the way that it is. So what that means then is we're going to run, you know, like a main pipeline 
like a bus pipeline kind of over this way because of the way that I'm going to set up the blenders. So I think what we'll do to start with is let's make this logistics floor two of these high. When I tested this, I did it one high and I couldn't I couldn't get over the pipes once I had them in place because there was, you know, the ceiling was too low. So let's make this too high. There's no reason not to. Doesn't matter how high up we are because drones are going to be doing all the moving of materials anyway. Okay, so let's Oh, actually, hold on. No, I don't want to do it that way. I want this to... come here so that that's right on the corner. And matches up with... Yeah, just like that. Okay. And then that should be correct on this corner. Okay, so let's just run enough of these to set down th three blenders. And leave the rest open for the moment, just so it's a little bit easier for us to work in. Okay, so let's see. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so this is the center tile here. Center foundation. So let's grab our first blender. And I want that right in the middle. Let's move it yeah we can put it there that'll work okay then we'll put another one right next to it I think though let's move it let's put it there I think that one's right too. Okay. I want to get these down first because it, then it'll determine where we're going to put our bus. Our pipe bus. Okay, let's do another row of these. Right. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll put I pulls down and let's just go into the right inputs. And we'll connect these like so. All right, now let's set you to fused modular frames just at normal speed. We're not gonna overclock anything here. And so each machine will take in 37.5 nitrogen gas per minute. But in total, we need 112.5. Okay, so. What that means then is we're going to set, we're going to underclock this. Let's just underclock it to 113. So it'll run at a little over 13% capacity. And we can always turn it up higher later if we need to pull more nitrogen from this plant because what we're setting up obviously is only going to need 13% of what it's capable of producing. Okay, good. 
Now what we want to do is we want to set the bus up for this. So the way that I'm going to do that is those are on the seam. So yeah, that's going to make this lemon squeezy. So we're going to put a pipe support there. And a pipe support there. I'm going to make the main bus um, a, a Mark II pipe. I don't really need to, but I'm going to do it anyway just because I can. You know, I've got the resources for it, and it's better to maybe, you know, future-proof it. Potentially, though, we probably won't be needing to future-proof this particular setup. And those should be directly underneath there. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get... Hmm. I'm going to flip these vertical, but it's not, it's not letting me use control to line it up perfectly. So I guess we'll just have to, well, we can either eyeball it or what we can do is Run the pipe like that and then get rid of the pipe and I wonder if this will let me align to it now no it still doesn't control doesn't do it. okay well we can at least align it a little bit better just visually then making sure that's right about smack dab in the middle of the of the collar here Probably about as close as it's going to get. There. Okay, good. Alright, let's do the same thing for these guys. All right, now I want to bring a line over here so I can hover. Those two, yeah, they're not quite lined up. So what we'll do is we'll line it up on this one. And again, for whatever reason, control isn't working, so I'm going to have to just eyeball it. Same thing here. Oh, okay, so it does snap there. If I move it along the floor first, so that works. That gets the two connections from this side. That is so close. Can I do... Uh, yeah, you know what? We're just going to do that. It's it's too close for me to do anything else, any, anything different anyway. Now for here, I think what we'll do is we'll remove this and we'll just uh, hmm okay can I it's not quite straight if I nudge it See, I don't, hmm, I don't know if that act is actually connected, though. If we disconnect this for a minute. Okay, so yeah, it must be, because otherwise there wouldn't be any gas, and I don't think, well, here, let's flush it, just to make sure. 
because it could have gas in it from earlier. Okay, so is this gonna number gonna grow back? Here, let's do this also. So there's just that one little section of pipe. Yeah, I don't think that's actually connected. Okay, well, shit. Um... I don't think we can do anything about it. It's just gonna have to go in a little bit crookedly. I don't know how else to fix that. Unless, well, okay, actually, here, let's try something. What if we went the other way? What if we came out to here? But can we, nope, it's not gonna work, is it? Let's try this. Let's go to here. And then if we use... Yeah, let's just do that. I'd rather have just a little bit of a an offset here than have the whole entire pipe be at an a weird angle. That's what we shall do. Okay. I'm going to do something similar here. Let's remove that. I'll run you to here and then turn you this way and scoot you into there. That actually doesn't even need to be a Mark III at all because, or two, because we're not bringing any more gas in from that side. So that can just be a Mark I. For the rest of these guys, this one here is close enough. To where I think what we can do is pop that in there and then just curve it this way. Go right into here. I like it. This one, however, is going to need its own junction. So let's just take this, put it here. And likewise, we'll just turn it that way and then run it into there. Okay, so that gets all of the pipes connected. I think we're good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, put a line on you, and bring you up to here. Oop. And then we can take all of these guys down here. I think that's all we need to do down here. Um, probably should put some rails around, but I'll do that later. That That's kind of more cosmetic stuff. 
Did I not hook this pipe up? That's weird. Oh, no, I, that's right. I disconnected it to test the gas. Right. Okay. I remember that now. <laughs> Short-term memory, right? Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and finish out our floor here. We have four left. Yes, we do. So we should be able to do these other ones with the blueprint. Our foundation blueprint. Oh my god, I'm out of concrete. Ah, oh, shit. I thought I had enough. Okay, well, then I'm going to... Let's get back down here. Let's put uh, this on, too. And we'll go down and get some concrete. I want to check and see how uh, our batteries are doing. Oh, good. Okay, so we're a little over halfway full. Once this fills up, then I'm going to shut all that down. I mentioned that in yesterday's episode, too. Oh, we had another hard drive... Too. Let's take a look at that. All right, that's the steel canister again. We've looked at that. This one makes less aluminum scrap than the default recipe and requires four inputs. I don't see the point of that at all. A steel rotor, that makes five per minute using steel pipe and copper. What's the default recipe do? Default does four per minute. All right, we've got this one that does 11... Uh, and a quarter per minute. Does take copper sheeting, which is a two-stage product. Screws for me are potentially a one-stage because I've got the uh, the recipe, you know, that you can make them straight out from iron. Well, no, it, that's still a two-stage though, because we still have to make the ingots. So both of those are two-stage for eleven and a quarter. That's a one stage. That's a two stage. We're only five. Yeah, I... No, that's a, that's a two stage too. Right. So, I don't see the point. I really don't. Uh, I mean, unless I had just an abundance of extra wire and I didn't have a whole lot of extra iron and stuff. But uh, I don't like any of these. We're going to re-roll again. Okay. I'll well, see you guys back up on top of the mountain. You know, I kind of don't like the way this is hanging over here. So why don't we shore it up with a pillar? Yeah, that works better for me. Back to the blueprints. Uh, wait a second. How the frick did that get screwed up? Oh, that's why. I had it in too far. <clears throat> okay. Good. So that takes care of our, our floor here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to set our other drone ports up. Just bringing these over here so we have stuff to hover by.
Let's see, we want to go to transport and grab the first drone port. And these guys can be, let's see, this is our center line. Let's lock that there. We'll move that to there and have this maybe about halfway over that tile there. I think I'm going to bring that in two clicks as well. That should be good. Alright, now we need to get power to these guys. And I think I'd like to do that from underneath. I'm a big fan of hiding power and whatnot under the floor whenever we can. So let's see, we need to go right to about here. Alright, why don't we... Uh, it's going to be... There. I didn't want to connect to that for some dumb reason. Okay, so if we just put that right on the seam there... Nothing's clipping, right? Okay. Should be able to go right to there. We need to move these over one tiny little notch here. Very good. Now for this guy. That's, I have to go all the way down here to get the, the power connected on that. It's really weird. So you were like two notches over that way. One, two. And you're one notch in from the center seam there. Right, okay. How many tiles, though, or foundations is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. So we have to do that on the fifth, fifth foundation. So one, two, Three, four, five. This is the fifth foundation. And I think we need to go in there and back one. Maybe. A half an. Oh, it's just not going to do a half a nudge for me. Alright. I'll have to go right there then, I think. Let's pick that up for a minute. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that gets power to our drone stations. Now we need to get power to our blenders here. And those are all going to be in front.
So probably what we'll do with that then is put poles down. Let's make it easy on ourselves. And oh, are you kidding me? I'm out of wire now? Oh, fuck me. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I guess I have to go back and get some wire. Um, well, actually, here, let's, if we take these guys back down here, um, we don't even need that one, actually. Okay, so that should give me enough to make, oh, that didn't give me any wire back? Really? I just, wait a minute, I just took those apart. Why didn't that give me any wire back? Oh, that's... Oh, never mind. Okay. That's because on my toolbar I had changed those to Mark II poles. Which just really doesn't make a lot of sense because... You don't usually need Mark II poles. And when you do, you just upgrade a Mark one. So, I'm going to... That's why I was so confused. I, I was going to say, I thought I had a bunch of wire. Alright, let's make this easy on ourselves. And we'll just put these right in the intersections here. Well, that one anyway. Um, This one's going to have to be... over from the intersection a bit, but at least it'll still be on the seam. And likewise this one too. What we could actually do to make our life easy here is just, let's just remove that whole thing for the moment. Here, put that away. And then we just want this to be on the seam. And there. Those are going right through the friggin' pipes, aren't they? Ah, balls. Okay, um, not acceptable. So let's go back. One, two. Yeah, let's go back two on all of these. these wires here. There we go. That works for me. Looking good. Uh, why aren't you powered? To hail. Did I forget? Oh, I bet you I forgot to do that. There we go. It's still not powered. Because I haven't selected the recipe. Did I did I not copy and paste those on all three of those? Apparently I didn't. The answer is uh no, you didn't. Sure sure could have sworn I did, but whatever. Okay, so next thing here is, you know, I really actually, I don't know why the hell I don't just do the same thing here. What is the matter with me? Yeah, we're gonna have to move this one too, so let's wait to hook it up. Uh, no, that one's yeah, that one's okay. Okay. If you guys were wondering why I didn't do that in the first place, it's because I'm an absent-minded old guy. <laughs> 
That's why. That's my excuse. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. Okay. Now the power is set up to my satisfaction. My satisfactory satisfaction. Oh man, that's such an optical illusion. From up above it looks like it's clipping, but obviously it's not. Totally looks like it's clipping from here. Weird. Very good. Okay, so now what we want to do is we need to set up the lines. So we're going to make this guy the... Let's make this one the aluminum casings. So we have the A aluminum casing port here. So this port is going to be the B aluminum casing port. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to run... I'm just going to use Mark uh, 3 for everything up here. We want to run you out to, say, about here. Could even bring you maybe to here. Right. Okay. And then we are going to put a splitter down. Uh, what the hell, man? Oh, that's the input port. Duh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Output port. Okay, that'll actually go straight in there. But... We do want to run a splitter. Uh, let's run it in the center of this tile. See, we're doing that on the inside. Uh, yeah, the right-hand side one. Okay. So we'll run this all the way down to here. And we need to go over there. And then we're going to put another splitter right here. And it looks like that split. Okay, so we're good. And that will feed the aluminum casings into the blenders. All of these should already have their nitrogen gas. Well, you can even see it up in the in the blender bowl thing. It's kind of cool. Nice little details. Okay, now for this guy, we're going to make this the heavy modular frames B version. So B heavy modular frames. And we're going to use a lift for these so we don't crisscross with the other pipes. come out to here uh, did I do it I did it again damn it what is wrong with me don't answer that question um all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this actually from over here so let's go out to this lift And then we're going to set up another splitter. Here, let me remove that for a minute. Got 
that straight? Yes, it is. Nope, don't do that. It goes in there, and this one goes in here. And that'll feed the heavy modular frames into the blenders. All right, now we need to do our returns. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to... Uh, I, I think I'm just going to have the returns come back on the aluminum casing just because this product's going to move through more quickly than the frames are. And that's because it only uses... Um, one and a half frames per minute, but it uses 75 casings. So th this product will move a lot faster, which means the drone for this station is going to be traveling back and forth much more quickly. And so we'll just have it return the product. However, the way that I set it up down there, um, any, either one of them could return it. And I could switch this one over to return two later if I, if I decide to do that. Okay, so... Uh, for now, yeah, we're going to have to cross over that line. What we could do, though, is let's bring this, um, let's bring this out to here. And then we're going to run it straight down here. So that way, if I do decide... To hook this one up too, I can just split right off of this belt. All right, and then if we go to there, yeah, I need to bring this um, over out further, probably to there. I'm thinking. Bring you around to the back here. Um, if I do that, yeah, no, let's bring it out further. Let's bring it to here. And then we're just going to run that right into there. Is that straight? It is not, but I don't want this to be <clears throat> closer. So what we'll do is we'll go there and then back to... No, we need to come back forward one. Try that again. Excellent. Okay, and then we need a merger here and one here. There we go. And that will be the fused modular frames coming out of the blenders going around into here for delivery back to our base. And then if I want to add this one to it in the future, oh, actually I would do that right here. I just put a, uh, a splitter down there too, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. We'll see. We'll watch it and see what it does. Okay. We are ready to get the drones going. So everything is already set up down there. We did that in yesterday's episode. So as soon as we connect this port with that port down there, the drone will start doing its thing. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go to here and we want to connect B aluminum casing to A aluminum casing. And then, of course, A aluminum casing back to B. Uh, right here. And that's all we got to do. And then it should kick in. Now, you can also, of course, set up multiple ports. So you might have... The drones make multiple stops, three or four or five, whatever, along the way. But in this case, it's just a back and forth. 
So we should see the drone down there take off here in a moment and fly up here and make its first delivery. Let's just watch it for a second. Yep, there it goes. And it's already loaded. I mean, it's just been sitting there loaded for a long time, just waiting for us to tell it where its destination is. Right now it's all framey because it's out of render distance. But it should smooth out here in a second. There we go. These are really neat. <laughs> I love it. And this is the perfect application for it too because drones are intended uh, for you to use them to transport materials that are in hard to reach places such as on the top of a mountain here. It does do that little weird glitch thing with its fuel hoses though. I don't know what that's all about. But should be offloading the aluminum casings any second here and we'll see them pop out. There they are. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's do the same thing for the frames. So we want to go to here. We want to set the B modular frames to the A modular frames. And likewise, that back to the B. There's no point in staggering these guys because, like I said, this one's going to make multiple trips up here in the time that it takes that one to make one trip back and forth. There it goes. We should see the B drone take off here any moment. There it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that on the recording. It's pretty small, but it's coming. And it drops its load inside. There they are. Okay. Uh-oh, we have a problem here. What the hell's going on? That's what's going on. It's always something. That splitter's working. That one's working, and these... Okay, now everybody's getting stuff. And this blender's kicked in, and now it's blending. It's making nitrogen soup. <laughs> exactly how they're going to turn that into uh, fused modular frames, I don't know, but it'll happen. In fact, it probably already has. Let's see if we can see... Our first product come out. One and a half per minute. Oh yeah, there it is right there. So, the way this works is... Yeah, he's going to take off now. The... We, we've got, let's see, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got 18 slots in here, but then there's also more slots inside of the drone. So not only does enough of this have to clear out, but the drone has to be clear too before it can take product back. So it's kind of, kind of weird that way. Um, we're really short at the moment on heavy modular frames because I've been using them for a lot of things. So as soon as I get 50 of these, because we need these to do the, you know, the milestone to get the Mark III miners, I'll probably shut, th shut this down and, you know, give our heavy modular frames a, a chance to build back up. Either that or I'll, maybe I'll manually, well, manually as in set up a temporary set up from the storage to, to make some more. We'll see how that goes. So we already have four of these. Uh, let's actually stick these in here because he's probably going to have room to take them back. And you know what? What the hell? Let's just hook them both up to do it. Why not? 
I was thinking this one was going to get jammed up, and now that I remember that these frames are low, that's not going to happen. Okay, did that split? Yes, it did. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so he'll take those frames back. He's already picked them up. When I was testing this, though, I had, like, a ton of these frames in the storage, and so he'd basically bring a load up and completely stuff the whole thing, and then he would just sit there because, you know, he didn't, he didn't have room to take anything back. But that isn't the case at the moment, so... I think we're done, guys. I think that's all we need to do up here. Um, I could... I could do some cosmetic work on this. I hadn't, to be honest with you, I hadn't even really thought about that. Um, the thing is, though, is, you know, we're running out of time in this series. In fact, exactly one month from today, I'm recording this on August the 10th. One month from today, um, 1.0 comes out. And we have... A tremendous amount of work yet to still do down there so I don't know if I'm gonna spend time doing cosmetics on this or, or not I'll tell you what if I do it's gonna be really quick and basic I'm not gonna make it super fancy I mean I suppose we should probably at least put a roof on the place right okay I talked myself into it let's do it um, what we'll do is we'll just bring this up to there, let's see, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Just want to make sure we're clearing all of this. Oh, wait a minute, though. We've got drones coming in here, don't we? All right. These are not really meant to be covered, but we could cover the rest of it, so... Why don't we cover half of it? How's that? We'll compromise and we'll do half. So we'll do it right at, say, this center line here. But again, I'm this is going to be real basic. I'm not going to do anything super fancy. Well, that's a problem. Two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, shit. Nothing's ever easy, man. Can't really run that through the center. Well, one thing we could do is... Why don't we bring these out to here? That's the easy and lazy solution. I'm thinking about two. Um, let's put another piece on here. Okay. Now, what if we grab this piece? And stick that there and there and zoopity doop it down here are we gonna be able to make that angle work without bumping into the top of the blenders No, we're not. Okay. And then let's not do that. Instead, 
Let's get a two meter roof. Okay, what does that angle look like? Okay, we need to go up. That should work. All right, now if we... Can we put this in here? Uh-uh. It's not the right angle. So let's go to our foundations and find the two meter ramp. And slide it back. Okay, that doesn't quite work either. What if we... That's not what I meant to do. Put that back there. What if we do this? There we go. Brought it down a little bit lower, but it's it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, we need to soup that over to there. Let's put this here, lock it, and slide it over. Okay. And then I want to remove all of... Uh, no, 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 no. Just the one... I want to leave the ones on the supports in place. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go to here. Let's move that to there. And move this to here. Okay, we'll run all of these down. Um, okay, so if I took... these and put them there brought them uh oh that's right we can't vertically nudge i hope we can do that in 10 apparently there's a mod that you can do that with it's not really where i want that to be though is the thing That's where I want it, right there. Okay. This wasn't starting it at the right, the right spot. Um. Okay, go to there. And oh, can't be nudged, really? Why not? Damage him. All right. What if we paint these black? <laughs> it helps a little bit.
Yeah, that's okay. All right, now we want to do the same thing here. Oh, I, I know why that didn't turn. Oh, shit. That's hanging over. That's why the other end didn't turn out right. Ah, oh, damn it, Jim. This isn't going to line up correctly either. I mean, I don't mind that it's hanging over, except for that it's not hanging over on this side, so it's not consistent. Could we... Actually, okay, hold on. Maybe we can make it hang over. If I... Go back to here. Yeah. Oh my god. That solution was so easy. I was pissing and moaning about it and it didn't need to be. Uh, I think... Do we still need this... T uh, we may not need to clip these. Yeah, I think we do still actually need to... Well, okay, hold on. Yeah, we're still going to need to clip. So put that one there and then just bring it back into here. Okay. This is kind of glitching through here, but you know, whatever. I think we'll just... I think we'll just pretend that it's supposed to be that way. Because I can do that. I can certainly do that. Okay. That fixed that issue. Now. We're over here. That's going to be the same... We're going to have the same problem with the concrete. Unless we went with the, what if we went with the small one? Hmm, you know what? Uh, that's going to clip through, isn't it? Yeah. What if we do it the other way around? Okay, actually here. Put... So start it here. That's actually a better solution. I mean, I know there's a little bit of a gap up here, but I can't do anything about that. I like that solution better, though. There. How about that, eh? That works. All right. Let's go along and just put some rails down, because this is going to be a very open-air facility here. It needs to be, because it's a drone port, right? It's like an airport. Okay, I'm going to do um, the same thing on the lower level. And then we just need to get some kind of access up here from the ground. Okay, so as far as ground access goes, I'm doing that more just because in the real world, you would have to be able to get up here from the ground somehow, right? Um, we could just do a ladder or we could do a stairwell. 
if I removed this and we got some stairs and put it right maybe right in the middle there just brought those down to the ground oh actually no I don't want those in the middle because then I can't enclose it let's try that again We'll put them on the inside here. And then we'll go with uh, this piece here. No, not there. We want this piece here. And then we want this just to be this piece. And we need to put a rail there too. Um, let's go maybe two meter here. What if we did that? Okay, so that gets us up to here. And I think what we'll do then is we'll go up to here. Except for that that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't work out right, does it? Okay. So we have to start it from up here. go right into that power thingy. <sighs> okay, that's not going to work. Can we wrap around and come up here? Yeah, I bet you we could. So let's grab those stairs. Bring this down to here. Actually, what I'll do here is just do a half foundation. It's kind of a kind of a weird place to come up though, because then I mean assuming we were on foot, right? We'd have to walk all the way around this way to get over there. So that's not a very practical access. What if we reverse this? More better. Ooh, we don't want to go bailing, bailing off that side though, do we? Um, what the hell? <laughs> All right, that's a problem. The fix for that. Oh my God, I can't believe how, how much this is being complicated. All right, what if we go to here and do a one meter ramp. That is so cheesy. Oh, 
But we have to have safety. I don't want OSHA on my ass here. Um, I think what we'll do here then is... Uh, no, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's not what I want to do. I want to go down. Okay, I mean, I, I don't know if there's a better solution for this or not. I'd, I'd prefer to do it this way than have the stairs sticking out underneath the floor, right? Like this, because you can't nudge them. It's just, it's just the, you know, the distance that I made these floors. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go with this. Okay, so that takes care of the access, as cheesy as it is. Cheesy McSqueezy, man. Um, why don't we put a couple lights up here? We're going to do these big floodlight towers. And I need quick wire. Okay. Well, the idea is I'll put them here and kind of point them in so they're just kind of shining light down on the whole thing. And we could maybe also... hook a couple up here, too. We can't... Yeah, we can't put those on these slanted ceilings. So I'll have to figure that out, but I need quick wire to do all that anyway. This is better than nothing. I mean, I wasn't planning on actually doing any cosmetics at all up here. Except for maybe putting rails down, but at least we covered our our blenders and most of our conveyor belts, and we put some safety rails in. So there you go. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, let's head on back uh, to the base, and we'll see uh, how many of these frames we have. In fact, I'll take whatever is in here now. Oh, we already have more than fifty. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Hot damn. Okay, so let's head on back to the ranch and do that last milestone before we wrap things up for this episode. I could do a hyper tube up here, and I might. We'll see. But this actually works pretty good, too. <laughs> All right, so let's add the frames. We need a uh, 1,000 pipe. And we need 100 supercomputers. I have more supercomputers sitting in here. And we just need to grab 400 more steel pipe. Let's also take a look and see how our batteries are doing here. It's getting there. What is this? Oh, these are aluminum sheets. Okay, those are starting to run low. And we're completely out of heavy modular frames because we're using, we're not just using those up above, but we're using them, you know, out there too. So I'm probably going to have to put some of this temporary stuff on hold and let those, you know, build back up. Milestone reached. Turbo motors can now be constructed in order to build the latest Fixit improved factory buildings, such as the Miner Mark III. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. See ya! Okay, so we have nuclear power and particle enrichment as our last two milestones, um, but this is going to need turbo motors and cooling systems and electromagnetic control rods this we could do now um, and we need to you know for the magnetic field generator which is the second thing on the list here as well as nuclear power i am planning on doing this and setting up at least one nuclear power plant just to see how it works but i don't know that we're going to need to do it uh, it just depends upon if our current power plant can supplies with enough power to 
the end of the series. Here's where we are currently. So we still have quite a bit of power left, so we'll just have to see how that goes. As far as the Miner Mark III, in order to make this, we need turbo motors. In order to make turbo motors, we need four of those cooling systems. And the rest of the stuff is easy. Cooling systems, we need heat sinks, rubber, water, and I think that's aluminum stuff. Aluminum. Oh, no, that's nitrogen. Okay, well, we've got that now. So we can make those too. But what I want to do is I want to get the miner up there at the Caterium processing, ingot processing plant, upgraded to Mark III, because it's actually a little bit shy of what we t need in total. Hasn't really caused a problem yet, but, you know, I want to make it right anyway. And so we'll be working towards getting that done. But I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll get that Mark III miner going and probably get back to the next phase of our assembly director systems. Um, now, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, we already have 672 of those things sent to the space elevator, so we're making progress. I mean, we could eventually do it all, you know, just this way, but that's not really the, you know, the goal. And it would still take quite a long time. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably get back to that most likely in the next episode. So, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Look at our sexy nitrogen facility up there. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. See ya.